Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is you and your mate are both heterozygous for some simple Mendelian gene alpha. Uh, for example, each of you has a genotype uh, that is uh, capital A small a or heterozygous and both of you show the dominant phenotype on chromosome number one. Over the next decade you proceed to have four children. What is the probability that three of your children will show dominant phenotype and one will show recessive phenotype. As usual, I recommend to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and then you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So we are told that both parents are heterozygous, so genotype of each parent would be capital A and small a in order to find probability for their children to be dominant phenotype or uh, recessive phenotype, we have to build a Punnett square. So here we have capital A, capital A, capital A, small a, capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. So according to this Punnett square, probability for the child to be phenotypically normal would be 3 out of 4 and probability uh, to have uh, recessive uh, phenotype would be one quarter. So three quarters for dominant phenotype and one quarter for recessive phenotype. Our problem doesn't specify the sex, gender of the children. So basically uh, we are looking for probability of the uh, children to belong to the dominant or recessive phenotype. We are told that this family is going to have four children. So imagine that each box here represent a child and it is empty because we don't know uh, specific phenotype of a child. It can be with the dominant or recessive. So uh, first child can belong to two uh, phenotypes, second child also can belong to two phenotypes, third and fourth. So uh, we use the product rule in order to find all the probable uh, combinations, number of uh, probable combinations. So 2 multiplied by 2 would be 4, multiplied by 2 would be 8, multiplied by 2 would be 16. So total number of possible combinations of uh, dominant and recessive phenotype would be 16. But we are specifically only interested in such combination when three of the children would show dominant phenotype and one will show recessive phenotype. So basically if I would use letters D for the dominant so this is going to be a um, situation when we would have, for example, T, D, D, and recessive phenotype, which is going to be R. So this would be representation of one variant. Another variant would be, uh, for example, dominant, dominant, then recessive, and dominant again. Another variant would be dominant, then recessive and dominant and dominant. Another variant would be that first child would be recessive phenotype and then dominant, dominant and dominant. So if you want to say that probability would be uh, one, two, three, four variants out of 16, this would be wrong answer because probability of the dominant phenotype and recessive phenotype is different. For the dominant phenotype probability is three quarters, for the recessive phenotype is one quarter. If probability of both uh, phenotypes would be the same, our answer would be four out of 16. But probability of this phenotype is different so 
what we need to do we need to change these letters to probability of each uh, phenotype so basically uh, probability of this phenotype or this order sorry would be three quarters three quarters three quarters and one quarter and in order to find the probability of such an event we have to multiply all these independent probabilities as for the second row uh, this would also equal to three quarters three quarters then one quarter probability that um, the third child would be of the recessive phenotype and three quarters would be probability that the fourth child would be dominant phenotype and then this would equal to three quarters multiplied by one quarter then three quarters and three quarters and the last parent would equal to one quarter multiplied by uh, three quarters and multiplied by three quarters and by three quarters so let me put multiplication sign here and basically you see those uh, order of uh, events here are different but we are going to get the same probability here so what would be probability 4 multiplied by 4 would be 16 multiplied by 4 would be um, 64 and multiplied by 4 would be uh, 256 and 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 and multiplied by 1 would be 9 multiplied by 3 27 multiplied by 1 would be 27 so basically we have uh, probability 27 over 256 now we have to use a sum rule and we have to add all these probabilities in order to find a probability for this family uh, of four children to have three children of the dominant phenotype and one of the recessive phenotype if our question would be ordered sequence for example first three children would be dominant phenotype and the last one would be recessive phenotype so this is going to be our answer uh, then but because order is not given so this can be uh, an order or this or this so as you see probability would increase so basically we have to add this to this to this and to this or we can multiply by four so if we multiply by four number of probabilities or as i said we can add 27 over 256 four times uh, so the final answer would be 108 108 over 256 we can divide both uh, numerator and denominator by 4 so we can say this is going to be the same as um, 27 over uh, 64 and if we divide 27 um, by 64 we are going to get a uh, decimal number which is 0 0.42 and if you need an answer in percentage form we also can multiply this number by 100 and our answer in percentage form would be 42 percent this is going to be a probability that a family of four children would have three children of the dominant phenotype and one that is going to be of the recessive phenotype 
And as I said, my explanation uh, is true for such situations uh, when order of events is not given. So we have to find all possible order orders of events. If uh, order is given, then uh, our calculations would be different. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.